are recording the lesson. Cool. Okay. 3,260 people were surveyed. 57% of the people said they spend two hours or more on their smartphones. The margin of error is plus or minus 2.2%. The survey used to estimate the number of people in a town of 17,247 people. So they want to know of the 17,000, how many people use their smartphone two hours or more a day. Okay, so the error is 2.2%, so 57% plus 2.2% would equal, I think it's 59.2. It's zoomed in a lot too. You don't know? We should pause this. I just don't know. Okay. okay, and then we got 57% minus 2.2% because that's the margin of error would be 54.8%. So this is the range of percentages of people that use their smartphones more than two hours a day. We need a minimum and a maximum. So we're going to take this, this 17,000 people and multiply it. That's basically like us. This much is basically based off of like all the people in the world. Yeah, I think for high schools it would be like six. <laughs> you think? I don't know. I mean, we wouldn't want to admit it, right? But... Okay, so this times the percentage, but when you multiply by the percent, it would be 0.592 equals, and it comes out to, so when I put this in the calculator, there it is. So we put 17247 times 0.592, I get this number. Uh, yeah, but it says to round to the nearest whole number, so we're going to just take off the decimals. 10,210. Oh, sorry, it's not in the frame. Okay. And then 17247 times 0.548. So the minimum, when I do that, we get this number. It's very zoomed in. I should probably zoom out. Okay, I get this number. And whole number again. Nine, four, five, one, like that. Okay, so then this would be the minimum amount of people, and then this would be the maximum. And when you put in numbers like this into a box, you don't use commas, you'd only use decimals if you needed to. Next. Approximate. Is that right? Approximate. Next. Proxima or approximal? Proxima. See. Okay. And next one. This one you've seen before. The end sells X premium tickets and Y regular tickets. A premium ticket costs $20, so that's going to be our X because it says X for premium tickets. And then regular tickets cost $5 less. So regular would then be 15, regular, and it says the regular tickets are Y. The band raises this total. Select the coefficient to complete the equation. Well, X is premium ticket, so it would be 20, and Y is the regular ticket, 15. So $20 times how many premium tickets they sell, plus 15 times however many regular tickets. And that's it. That's the answer. Okay, next. This one you've seen before as well. Okay, it's a function table. It wants to know what the x-intercept, y-intercept, and rate of change is. The rate of change is the slope. Um, so using this function table, this would be our y and our x. The slope would be the change in y over change in x. So change in y here, they're adding is 8, and here it's 4. So 8 over 4 would equal 2. So the slope is 2.
Okay, and then x-intercept is, these are coordinates, and our x-intercept is actually right there, 3, 0. So our x-intercept, I don't need to write it again, x equals 0, e, x equals 3, sorry. X-intercept is 3. That's where the line crosses the x-axis. And then for y-intercept, you could graph these numbers and figure it out that way. Um, or you could use the equation y equals mx plus b, and then solve for b your y-intercept. So I'm going to choose to use this way. So y equals our slope is 2. And then what we need to do to solve for b is plug in a pair of coordinates here. So you can plug in negative 1, negative 8, 3, 0, or 6, 6. I'm just going to use the 3, 0 and plug it in. So 0 equals 2 times 3 plus b. And negative 6 equals b. So that's your y-intercept. That's it. And now let me pause my recording. Let me figure out how to do that.